Go. Hello and welcome back to Easy Board Whiteboard. And nice to see you again, but look what we've done so far. We've moved forward. We're going to explain how this works and we've gone on a completely different subject, which is something that is very important as well, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to show you how this works again. In the bronze section, which you know about, we're already looking at the section now, and that is section number two. And you remember what number two was about. It was all about money this time, right. Okay, that's very important. And what we're gonna do in this one is even though we're gonna concentrate on the money, we're gonna do it in five minutes, right? So we're gonna do much quicker. Five minutes, and this is because we've already got the structure set up. But what we're also meant to make sure is that you've got a little sheet and you're editing that as well. It's going to be done very quickly, right? So, why are we going to do this very quickly and why is it important? It's super important because money is relevant to everybody and it starts to bring in a lot more detail. But what we want to focus on is just why do we want to do something? We're going to stick with the black fact, right? And we still want to go back to the existing stuff we did before and we're going to show you in a very interesting way why and you're going to sort of learn. Some people are going to learn where this is going and you're going to project it. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you when some to, to money, most people think it's one of the most important things in their lives, but everybody is so focused on money they want to make sure that it gives them the nice results at the end, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to say, okay, last time we did the basic plan and we did ages, right? And that's it. This time we're going to do it slightly different. So I want to go back all the way to the age of 25 and in your position we want you to mark what did you earn? You know, what was your money? And this is in little privacy of your own, but what was the money you earned to age 25, right? And then also, today, the current position you're in, how much money do you earn now? Is it higher or lower? What is that position? So we've got those two bits there. So it's the earnings in the history of the past and the earnings that you currently have now, right? So it doesn't matter what the one's bigger or other, it's just having that structure set. Now what we're also gonna just understand is that if it is either all the same, amount of money that it was in the past or has there been an increase in the money and what's happened there is that there's a certain angle of increase that you actually understand where we're going but at the same time we're trying to say what is what is happening with you just when we've moved from this position to this position do you feel much better if your money's increased and my position was when it first started I earned 12,000 pounds Right, when I first graduated and worked. And last year, what I did is I earned £70,000, right? So that's quite a big difference, quite a big angle, but all you to do is put your angle on there. Then what we're gonna do is take this further. So what we're gonna do, we still have to get Mr. Checklist to understand what we're doing, and he wants to know some facts. So number four is gonna be money, right? And all in number four, he wants to know this one is 4A, which is the earnings at 25, and this one is 4B, which is the earnings you have currently, right? So what we then here say here is this in A, that was 12,000, 12K, and in B, that was 70K, right? So that's what you've then just done there. You've not just done the basic lines, but you're still staying with the facts right so then you're working on here with mr money and checklist area is making sure you understand what's going on too so what we're going to do is say wow we've constructed that again if you're struggling with the numbers put in exactly a, 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 not an exact one but an example or a suggestion and also if you can't put money in the checklist just put a question mark and we'll go back to it but the most important thing is you're starting to build something up in the bronze section it's facts okay so what we're going to do if you don't focus on this you will not be able to take it further and once you've done that you're going to be in a better solutional area so what we're going to do we're going to now score it and you're going to score number two as red amber or green and then we're going to go to the other side and we're going to work out what it is but as soon as you get your tick there you go what do you do next now with the money 
it's all about whatever currency it is doesn't really matter it's all about you feel for the money and even with how money is used and the currency is very important but if i say okay which was the the biggest dollar note what was the biggest dollar note would it be a hundred dollars would it be bigger than that yeah so all i'm gonna ask you to do is say okay well what do you think it is but we'll we'll bring the biggest dollar note around next time okay right what I'm going to do, I'm going to get you the board, I'm going to go do this in, and I'll see you there soon. Oh, and I might need just uh, a little bit for lunch. Stop.